Members of our learning community were drawn together by our interest in engagement and motivation of students, particularly in online and hybrid courses. Uh, engaging millennials, from my experience, is quite a challenge. I coordinate an accelerated nursing course that students perceive as very chaotic. I pack 17 credit hours into an eight-hour clinical course. Students receive an online set of assignments to prepare them for clinicals. This assignment includes a physical assessment mini course. This prepares them to perform a head-to-toe assessment on patients in a hospital. They're expected to work independently with some access by email and phone. I piloted a new method of introducing myself this semester with learning the Zoom technology. So for the first time, we introduced ourselves in this course with videos. During our three-day workshop, I focused on the segment where we redesigned our courses with learning objectives. This assignment was redesigned to focus on what I wanted my students to come away with. The specific learner outcomes resulted in a much more sophisticated online learning assignment. The students were able to implement the objectives in a simulation experience in the lab where we practiced after we learned the online information face-to-face -face in the lab. This resulted in 100% of our students passing on their first attempt. The nursing process assignment was equally successful. This was another online assignment. These assignments progressed to face-to-face -to -face, um, interaction with faculty after the online course. I conduct a 90-minute lecture twice a week, which is boring and tedious for everyone. So they all have trouble staying focused, so I tried to do the Ignite. In my enthusiasm for all the stuff we've learned, I made the mistake of creating all new lecture formats, and then I felt chaotic. I think we all have good intentions when we try to make changes, but I did way too much. But to my great surprise and relief, it paid off in big dividends. As an experienced lecturer, I knew that I was close, but not quite there. I pre-recorded the Ignites, and the students have varying degrees of energy. The abbreviated content bursts were a big hit, but the pre-recorded scripts were not well received. And no matter how much I practiced, I could not get energy into my voice. So I decided to go live, and this resulted in a big thumbs up from everybody. The feedback was overwhelmingly positive, so it was worthwhile. Students actually said, thank you, class was awesome. Uh, I live for moments like that when I'm trying to work and prepare. With my grant money, I have gone to some conferences, participated in webinars. Um, they were on podcasting and classroom assessment. I have found these to be immensely helpful, giving me some cutting edge information on some new technologies. And then additionally, I bought some hardware so that I can communicate with my, pa my patients, my students, wherever I am, and I'm not sure that's been a plus. Not, I'm not quite sure about that. The best part of this experience for me has been the opportunity to be involved in our learning group. That learning community has afforded me the privilege of working with a wonderful group of men and women who have been very inspiring to work with. They have been very generous in sharing their experiences, which has benefited and enhanced my ability to teach. Our monthly meetings have been a rich source of information and sharing of new ideas for engagement and motivating my students. And a big heartfelt thanks to Fran Harden for providing donuts and cookies and whatever else she always brought. Having a group of like-minded professional colleagues to network with and to share knowledge and experience with has provided a platform with me to solve problems. We've solved problems together. I've utilized a lot of the ideas that were discussed with the discussion boards. I have a lot of new ideas for how I might be able to create a discussion board that might get some response. My students have expressed high levels of satisfaction with the new ways that I've used, that I've learned when I've changed my content delivery. So instead of, as coordinator of this very chaotic course, doing all the problem solving I usually do. We've actually worked together and had a much better semester. They seem happier. This experience has been exponentially positive in enhancing my understanding of new methods to engage and motivate students. And the best part is I have a new set of friends and colleagues that I can reach out to for help. 